In studio with us this morning, I want to introduce you and welcome my friend Brian Johnson, always the best dressed man in the mortgage industry with us. Brian Johnson with Valley Mortgage. How are you? Fine, sir. Hey, good morning, Eric. I'm good. Uh, give us a rundown of who you are, what you do, what Valley Mortgage is all about. Sure. This year, we're actually we're celebrating our 35th anniversary, believe I it or not. I got you this highlighter that's Thank right here. Thank you very there much. You go. That's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> no, we're with Valley Mortgage. Uh, we've specialized in home loans, purchase loans, construction loans. We do all um, types of loans within Minnesota and North Dakota, new construction, conventional, FHA, VA, USDA loans. Uh, most people, including myself, some days don't know what all those letters mean. Right. I, I think that what you're saying is is <laughs> ABC, there's a, yeah. that's right. Uh, we do the the uh, BMOCs. We do the right, yeah, the right. big man on campus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Brian Johnson, uh, Valley Mortgage has been a staple in the community for 35 years, and you said North Dakota and Minnesota. I had a cousin up in the Iron Range mm -hmm. uh, in Moose Lake, Minnesota. Is that the Iron Range? I don't know. It's, it's um, near there. Okay, yeah. it's in Minnesota. Right, I had a cousin right. uh, who, who lives about five hours away. You got her a home loan. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you've worked with uh, people from Thief River Falls down to Rochester, over to Williston, mm -hmm. and anywhere in between our beautiful states. Yep. Uh, yeah, oh, I'm there, there I go, talking right <laughs> on top of you, Ryan. Uh, I, I, before we dive in, because I do want to talk about some things happening in the industry and, and ways in which we can stay uh, abreast of what's going on, we need to talk about golf. Sure, we can do that. <laughs> uh, we both uh, participated in scrambles this week, and uh, you told me your golf game is not like it should be. It's not. I haven't played that much this year, so uh, I'm out of practice. Well, I have played a lot this year, and I'm also <laughs> not very good. Uh, but your not very good is still twice as good as my not very good. I don't know. You're a pretty good putter, too. So, oh, Thank you. Yeah, uh, all those years at FUD putters growing <laughs> up have finally paid off. <laughs> and if you know the FUD putters reference here in town, uh, there's a good chance we're going to be friends. You're dating yourself now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, which is what I did in high school, too, is, yeah, no girls would date me, so I just dated myself. There you go. Uh, so Brian Johnson, this is getting weird. Uh, <laughs> Brian Johnson, I want to talk specifically about when my wife and myself uh, use Valley Mortgage because it's mm -hmm. been uh, a couple of times here. Uh, we, first, we bought a house uh, back in 2012, I think. It's been six years now, oh. which is wild. Time flies. Uh, it really <clears throat> does. And we currently owned a house and came to you and we're like, oh man, I need to... I need to sell before I buy, and the dominoes had to fall, and I didn't know if we were going to make it actually happen. Mm -hmm. I was pretty nervous, Brian, um, and you ended up giving uh, us a bridge loan. I think that's an interesting thing that a lot of people don't have a lot of knowledge on, but we essentially owned both houses at the same time while we mm -hmm. closed on our old house. What does that look like? That's a good option that is available to uh, people. If you've got equity in your current home, we can do a separate loan to take equity out of your current home to be able to use for down payment for the next home. Okay. So you kind of end up with three loans then. Oh. Until your house Is that sells. super dangerous? It can be, or it can be <laughs> <laughs> a good thing to right. help you out. So if you've got somebody um, looking to buy your house and maybe you're under contract, it's just not going to close before you buy, mm -hmm. that's a really good option for people. Okay. So, uh, or if you're in so a situation, they're, they're basically loaning off of their own equity, right? Right. So yeah. it's it's not it's not this like giant loan that's going to come back and bite you. It's money that you have. You're just accessing it. Correct. Yep. Okay. And you're going to get it paid off as soon as your house closes. So okay. It's just a, a band aid loan we like to call it ah. until your house sells, and then you pay those other two loans off, and then you've got your loan set up for the new one. We also have some options where if you don't have enough equity or you can't pull all of your equity out. Mm -hmm. I've had somebody where we've put down maybe 5%, but then they've had, um, you know, 10% more come out of their house. Okay. And then we're able to have them pay down their loan. We can actually recast their loan and oh. adjust their payment after closing without refinancing. So they keep their interest rate. Uh, interest rates are still very good right now. Mm -hmm. So that's a good option to get people into a new loan without having to refinance afterwards and still lower their payment afterwards. Well, I think about it this way, Brian, and again, those of you tuning in, Brian Johnson of Valley Mortgage, our guest in studio this morning and sponsor of today's show. We sure appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian, some people think of the rigidity of the mortgage industry mm -hmm. and that it's it simply you have to fall in this box in order to make things work. Mm -hmm. For my wife and myself, uh, I was newer in real estate back in 2012, um, was was making a good living, and uh, and so we talked about options. It was, do I just take out two loans? Do you do a bridge loan? Um, can I even qualify for two loans? What does it take uh, traditionally for somebody to qualify for two loans? What are the things that you look for? 
So we definitely need to take a look at how much equity you have in your current home. Okay. So normally you can go up to 80 to 90% of your current home value. So for, so let's let's do some simple math here. Yep. Let's say I own a $200,000 house mm-hmm. and I still owe $150,000 on my mortgage. Mm-hmm. So I have $50,000 in equity. How much of that extra equity can I use for my next uh, bridge loan or purchase? So if you're going to do a bridge loan, let's just use simple math. Let's say you can go up to 80% of that $200,000 home for okay. your total loan. Okay. So that would be 160,000, right? Right. So I have 10 grand that I can use to put towards uh, the next house. Okay. Yep. And then afterwards, let's say you sell for 200,000, you've got more equity there. That right. Then you can still put down towards the house after you close and we can adjust your payment accordingly. Uh, rare do people know that they can still put more money down even like after they close Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a way to pay down the loan. Uh, Brian, people mess all the time. And when I signed up with you, uh, six years ago, I did a 30 year mortgage Mm -hmm. and, uh, chose the option of 30 year. And then I paid some extra payments, uh, on top of that. I was paying in average about an extra mortgage payment a year. Mm -hmm. How does that affect how much I actually owe on my house? What does that do? So typically that will cut about five years off your loan. It depends on what your interest rate is. It used wow. to be, you know, the old adage was, oh, you'd cut seven to eight mm-hmm. years off your loan. Well, that was when interest rates were at seven to eight so percent. Right. Now with interest rates low at in the four to maybe you're close to five percent now, mm-hmm. you'll cut about four to five years off your loan by making one extra mortgage payment a year. So if I sign up for a 30-year mortgage and I make one, I want to make sure I hear this correctly, I make one extra mortgage payment a year. Mm-hmm. So if my mortgage is 1500 bucks, if I'm taking my taxes or whatever it is and paying that extra 1500 bucks, I shave five years on average off of my 30-year mor- Correct. mortgage. Yep. So I only have a 25-year mortgage if I make one extra payment a year. Right. Why does that math add up? Because in my head, I'm like, well, if I'm paying $1,500 every other month, why does this extra $1,500 cut into the equity or cut into the loan value so much? It cuts right down on the principal. So it goes right towards the principal balance and you pay that off quite a bit quicker. Okay. Okay. So let's fast forward. Now, uh, a year and a half ago, my wife and I did a remodel on our house and uh, it was uh, more expensive than I ever wanted it to be. (laughs) And we refinanced and we actually went down to a 15-year mortgage Mm -hmm. on that. Uh, if somebody's considering refinancing and they're hanging on to an interest rate of six or seven percent, uh, how complicated is it to refinance? That's pretty simple. Um, it, prop, the, prop, uh, the process rather goes a quite a bit quicker on a refinance. Um, sometimes, if you're not taking cash out too, we can even get uh, it done without doing an appraisal, which mm. is, cuts down your costs and your timeline. So we would take a look at your income, your credit, and be able to process that pretty quickly. Uh, the story you paint, Brian, is a great one, and that is there are options for people out there. Uh, no matter your situation, no matter how many homes you need to buy or sell, or if this is your first dance at it, uh, it usually takes a credit score of about 600 to 620 to qualify. Typically, that's what we like at a minimum. Um, okay. Case by case basis, we've done a few below that, but we like to have a 620 minimum. Okay. So there's options for you out there if you're listening. And remember, we said at the top of the hour that the market is ripe right now for you to jump on and get a great deal. So how do people contact you, BJ? Sure. Get a hold of us. Call our office at 701-461-8450. Visit us online at valleymortgageinc.com or stop by our office at 3315 45th Street South in Fargo. I uh, love having you in studio, Brian Johnson with Valley Mortgage. Folks, go to liftfargomorehead.com during the break. And again, check out our new website. This is Real Estate Radio with Eric Hatch.